All right, we're in a very good spot though. Again, this is what I was saying we should go in the first place. And I like the fact that we're here. We don't need the heartbeat anymore. We know where he's at. He's in the bush. Oh my God, are you, are you serious right now, fam? Are you absolutely serious right now? What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another Warzone video where today we will be spectating a viewer submitted gameplay. We're going to be watching Mr. F go on a solo duo rampage and we will be covering the do's and don'ts of what he's doing as well as the enemies we encounter. But if you like the content, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe with notifications on. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. All right, here we are right now, going ahead, getting a bounty right off the bat, not wasting any time. And he's also utilizing the helicopter to go ahead and navigate throughout the map. If you guys are trying to practice your aggression using helicopters or other vehicles like that is the best way to go on and getting your aggressive gameplay. Now, you don't have to use vehicles, but it's definitely recommended so you can chase down more kills. All right, most wanted goes down. Now we're waiting for the bounty who's sitting in the hangar, I guess, waiting for us to make a move. Not sure exactly where he is. Again, you can't always rely on that ping. It's a delayed update system. So here we are, Mr. F trying his best to, uh, to read the situation. Now, the bad thing here we're going to go ahead and talk about is a few things. One, first off, there's the enemy right there, right? Surprise, surprise. Two. He threw a decoy to where he's going. Why? Bro, okay. If you guys, decoy grenades, you know, the purpose of decoy grenades is not to throw it where you're about to go. It's to throw it the opposite direction. You want to use decoy grenades to distract the enemy, make his eyes look elsewhere as you push up and surprise him. The fact that he threw a decoy grenade right where he's about to go is absolutely mind blowing. Number two, also, he's not scanning anything. He's just walking straight up, looking at the decoy grenade. He's not looking to the left and scanning the stairs. He's not looking to where we're at, and he's probably gonna end up dying. Oh yeah, he's also crouch walking. And I understand, look, a lot of guys are like, Savage, he's crouch walking because, because he wants to sneak up on us. That would be a valid argument if he didn't just throw a decoy grenade. I'm gonna put that out there. All right, so now we already got two kills. Let's see what we end up doing. Get back to the chopper, hopefully. And on to the next one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assume he's gonna probably go after bounties um probably the all, all game long bounties and uavs just doing the one two combo and absolutely obliterate the lobby now we have one joe blow literally late to the party well whoa we got two joe blows i forgot it was duos <laughs> can we get f's in the comments for me completely forgetting that two minutes to the video oh no and like that we take a huge f but it's okay this would be a good example of if you guys get taken out early game don't give up don't lose faith don't be like this game's chalk or trash just just win your ghoulie get out of there and start hunting people down again because we still do have 118 enemies left and yeah we only have two kills but it's still a lot of players to go around killing also guys if y'all are looking for a new energy drink a new energy supplement make sure you guys try sneak energy this shit is the truth um, for years, I was just drinking energy drinks to feel the same. You know, I would wake up, drink energy drink just to get to normalcy. When I when I discovered sneak dude, it's the only thing that really just There's gets me super off. cracked out of my mind. So if that sounds anything like you, make sure you try sneak energy and no, use code no, savage in the creator code the section at checkout. All right, here we are coming back from the gulag. I do see two enemies sitting there. One going to the two story with the rooftop and one at the hangar below us. We need to grab our shit quickly. They're already aware of us being here, trying to take out the chopper, like the asshole that he is. Now, you could get the chopper and bail out to save the chopper, if that's really what you want to do. Um, or you could just try to win this out. He doesn't look too worried about the helicopter, to be honest. He'd rather win the fight, and I can respect that 100%. There is the enemy going for the res. Play the rooftop of this building, hopefully, and just shoot down on the enemy. Maybe even get a melee kill on him. Who knows? Look at this, look at this. He's got no idea. He's got no idea where we're at. And I understand he's stunned, I get that, but he didn't even try to make an attempt to turn on us. He still would've died, but he didn't even try. He just kept running with his back to us. Guys, if you're in a position like this, you've got to try to fight the stun and get the shots off on the enemy. Don't just give up and run away. You will get shot in the back, just like he did there. I'm grabbing the all right all right all right all right the street sweeper and the amax combo here we are going for the next bounty we got a few options you'll probably have a few players inside a factory as well 
back three is like a low-key area where people just love to sit and camp i don't know why but it is i mean i guess that makes sense it's where old titties used to be at and that's kind of what titties was for it's like this part of the map is just bred for campers all right he's he's reading it too he's thinking someone else is there heart beating real quick no joy so now we're here chasing down the bounty and the most wanted bounty damn We've got a helicopter coming in from the right hand side too we got to be careful we don't get third party in this situation but never mind he's flying off now look at this okay first off you have a most wanted bounty and you put yourself in an aircraft your best bet and i understand people's you know need to camp and sit on rooftops when you have a most wanted bounty i get that and i'm fine with that I, it makes sense you want to get your teammates back you don't want to put yourself in a bad position to get killed but the plane Dude, that you're, you're just putting yourself in a corner. You're just putting yourself in a cubby, and you're just trying to hope and pray that your reaction time and your accuracy is way better than the enemy that's coming to hunt you down. Again, high ground's better than low ground, guys. Make sure you're not ever doing shit like that. And of course, here we have one guy. It looks to be in a fight right now. We need to look down, down to the west inside. We actually got two more players, a full duo squad, possibly a most wanted. Kind of questionable. Might not be a full squad. Fortunately, we did not get the break. Enemy made it to the warehouse in time. Now we got to figure out who we're going to push first. You can see I'm trying to make the decision right now. We're waiting for someone to mess up. We know that the guy with the most wanted bounty is going to be popping some plates. So we don't have to worry too much about him at that moment in time. We're trying to see if we can catch the other player out in the open, but that was a no-go. And now here the most wanted bounty is turning his back to us, not even wanting to fight in a shooting video game. And he's going to run away. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting annoyed for you. Guys, if, if you're ever in a situation where you're being chased, you're better off fighting the enemy outside around some cover than putting yourself in a building. This is the second time this game we've seen someone hide in a plane or hide in a building try to win 1v1. That's not how you're supposed to do it, guys. You do not want to put yourself in a corner to where you're just sitting there waiting for the enemy to come to you especially like that building right there there are what five windows if i'm not mistaken maybe three windows four windows there's a shit ton of windows you can bust through um as well as the doorway so you have to sit there and try to again rely on your reaction time to snap on the window or door that we happen to come through and if your reaction time is not there and you know that you need to stop doing that here we are going for another uav launching it buying another one and hunting down the next two players Going back to our four-wheeler and heading off. And again, guys, this is the simplest way. If y'all are trying to break PRs and y'all are trying to go out there and get aggressive, this is how you do it. You want to go ahead and utilize the bounties and UAVs to the best of your ability. And a lot of people would think that using a UAV when you have a bounty mark would be counterproductive, but it's not because the UAV will also reveal his teammate as well as other enemies around on top of that. And also, we have $16,000, so who gives a shit? And just like that, up to 10 kills with 70 players remaining. All right, going for the next bounty objective. And if you guys are watching streamers or watching the YouTubers and you're always wondering how they just always happen to be in the right place at the right time, right? It's not by luck. It's by utilizing shit like this and, and just map knowledge and, and knowing where other players like to be at um, and just hunting them down that way. Now, this one right here is pretty self-explanatory. I always assume there's going to be players here. Um, there's going to be a lot of players here because this is one of the most popular camping places because of those apartment buildings on the rooftop. We do have three enemies. Now, we need to speed this up if we want to get all the kills, but you don't want to go ahead and put yourself in the middle of a third-party situation. The last thing you want to do is force a fight to get all three kills and end up getting yourself killed in the process. All right, luckily the solo goes down. Here's another dude camping in the corner. And oh, another guy upstairs also camping in the corner. Weird, bro. Why are you looking out the window? You just heard us shooting the second guy on the staircase. Again, we're finding these, again, we're finding these players in positions where they're getting scared and they're forcing their back to a wall. Stop that. You know, in nature, when like the, let's say a wolf, you know, it's fitting. Let's say a, a wolf is backed into a corner. What is it going to do? It's going to lose its shit. Why is it going to lose its shit? Because it's a scary position for it to be in. It makes no damn sense for an animal and it makes no damn sense for a person in a video game. Try to outplay the situation by rotating, using the windows, using 
doorways, using cover, get out of the buildings, stop putting here. yourselves in these positions to allow us to come in there with a street sweeper and just sweep right through you. All right, trying to analyze where we want to go right now. We could go to the hill because there's a lot of people there. That's exactly where I would have gone. Um, he looked like he was going to be going to the west-hand side of the map, south of Superstore. Wasn't a huge fan of that, just because by the time we made it there, those guys would already probably be rotated up. So I like the fact that we came over here to take the easier kills. And again, that's just personal preference. I just, when I look at this map, I think this is easier because they're going to have to run down the hill, come to us out in the open in order to get safe against the zone. The other area, again, south of Superstore, has a lot more cover and possibilities for players to get safe. I'll take the wheel. All right, now we're going to take the Bertha. I'm going to assume we're going to take the Bertha so we can have basically mobile cover, right? We just play the area, wait for the gas to push them out, and then we can hop out and get the kills. Here's another squad completely oblivious. Somehow he didn't run over the first guy. No idea where he ended up going to. Notice that we're snaking while we're plating, trying to look for the guy, keeping the tree to our left-hand side, going for the res. Not going for the res. Okay, that's another example too. Lesson number 38. Guys, when, when you go down to an enemy, you need to try your best to look at him and ping the enemy. If the first player we down was able to ping us, then his teammate would have known exactly where we we're at and we wouldn't have been able to shoot him in the back. That just comes to a lack of teamwork, lack of communication, honestly, a lack of audio. I mean, he, he should have heard the fact that we were over there, even without the pings. There's no reason he should have allowed us to do that to him. Now, this guy here, you know, another, another player playing the edge of the circle, putting himself in a position where his back is against the wall. And now he's in a spot he doesn't really want to be in. He thinks he wants to be in it, but he doesn't. And unfortunately, players like this, they're going to keep doing this. They're going to keep playing the edge of the circle because their favorite streamer told them to even though it's dumb advice and uh yeah he's gonna end up dying he might get in the car it's probably you might want you might want to do that now get in the car no oh oh oh, oh, oh. we're still gonna beam him out of there i'm gonna bet get him baby get him get him let's go hey man don't get mad at us get mad at yourself come on man now look if you guys want to play the edge of the circle there is a way and tactic to do so but playing the edge of a moving circle slowly not going for kills not rotating that's 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 not smart 17 kills already with 43 enemies remaining switching vehicles trying to get one a little bit more cover and surrounding on us as you saw right there it's easy to get beamed out of those buggies did he even look at us oh shit there's a second i don't think the first i don't think the first guy looked at us bro he literally jumped out of that car and just I don't know. I don't even know. He didn't even try to flick to look at us. He was just running in like this wide circle. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you prefer the camera layout like this, um, as opposed to the green screen where I'm blocking the, the weapon loadout. I like the fact that we're clearing the building before we go in the buy station. Seem, may seem like a very simple thing to most of you guys, but again, with the spectating videos that we do, uh, we still see it time and time again, people not clearing the buildings when they put themselves in vulnerable positions like the buy station. All right, analyze the situation. Now look, when you're looking at the map and you have an advanced UAV up, you need to kind of figure out what you want to do. Now look, when we're looking at this right here, we have three or four enemies, possibly three, sitting on top of this building. When I look at that, I say to myself, eh, I don't know, think I want to go there because they'll probably end up killing each other off before I get there. Now, you can already see where he's going and that's the right idea. I see these guys caught out in the open, separated. That's the easy two kills. You don't have to worry about pushing upstairs, going to the rooftop like you do this building. Also, these guys right here, after we wipe these two guys, we can easily gatekeep these two squads because again, they're playing the edge of a moving circle. And if they're playing slow and methodical, we're gonna be able to catch them out in the open as they're crossing the street or even taking the vehicle. We might be able to get some beams off. I like the fact that we bailed out of the vehicle and kind of debated it to go down the hill. If you look at the mini map, if you look at the mini map, the player is actually looking directly at the vehicle. This is just simple mind games when it comes to any shooter, but especially with Warzone. Players don't usually pay attention to where the vehicle goes from red to white, meaning the enemy jumped out right there. They usually just watch the vehicle in general, and this is going to make it easy for us to get the kill. The only thing we need to worry about is the second teammate sitting on the left-hand side, but because of their separation and because of their lack of teamwork, this should be easy for us to go. Oh, never mind. We're getting third party from the other guy's TV station. Unfortunate. 
plates are broken hopefully we can weave our way around now fortunately for us again we coming up behind the other teammate a very wide left hand recon. flank he's right under us oh my god now that we kill the teammate the other one's gonna be looking towards us unless he's already in a fight which doesn't look like he is he's out there in the open did he just lay prone i think he did now we saw the tracers from the other team sitting on the hill to the left hand side a little bit more yep 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 and again just going back to knowing where players are at and it seeming like a lot of streamers and pro players always seem to be in the right place at the right time it's just paying attention to small things audio tracers trying to read where the enemies you kill trying to read where the teammates of the enemies you killed are going to be rotating to and also again don't forget there's another there's another player over there he was not an instant we had to execute him and again at tv station we saw that there were four pings there could be three other enemies in that direction i doubt it but there could be sitting here unsure gonna go ahead and buy uav buy another one quickly in and out not even at the buy station for 10 seconds i love that unfortunately the other teams did make it to the low ground right here all three of them did actually and now we're gonna move on to hopefully get these kills Again, bailing out of the vehicle to separate ourselves from it so that we don't reveal ourselves to the enemies. We do have two vehicles playing the edge right now. We've got to be careful with. I don't want to pick that fight. I like the fact that we're bailing away for that and getting out of there. Now, there's that there's that random solo ping in the building right there. Um, you could choose to push it if you want, or you can choose to move on. That's completely up to you. He's going to go ahead and push it. I normally don't like fighting in these buildings, especially for one kill. Um, I'll usually bail out and go somewhere else with more multiple kills because if you put yourself in a compound like this, with all these windows and all these buildings this is scary shit because even if you're navigating and your beams are on point and you're having a fire game if there's just one or two random joe blows camp in a window you're not expecting it could be hard for you to watch them all clear them all just to go after that one possible kill Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. i notice again how we're not pulling our vehicle up right on the enemy as well now you can you definitely can they're out in the open i definitely recommend it but he's not He's not pulling up to an enemy when the enemy's camping inside a building because, if, again, with the windows and doorways, you can get blown out of that vehicle relatively easy. So he parks it away from the enemy so that he can navigate to the enemy without being spotted. Now, I was saying that I also want to point out the window jump, right? We jumped out the window, we vaulted on top of the roof, and now we can kind of play the roof. It's a lot better than playing the window because we can see more stuff. Granted, yes, our backside's exposed, but if we don't stay here too long, we're going to be fine. And from that, also, we could possibly jump to another building and get a better angle on the out. enemy there the enemy is the AO. boom look at that my man look at this shit. like what are you doing bro what are you doing both of y'all come on man no you got a full team you got a whole duo squad bro you got a whole duo and you're sitting in a building playing the edge scared why can someone look and i'm not hating and i won't slay you i really want to know genuinely know what would go through y'all's head whenever y'all were forced in a position like that? And I know a lot of you do this, so just let me know. Like, what, what, what's that thought that goes through your head that makes you go sit in a building with your teammates and just wait? Put me in that mindset. I really want to understand. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. <clears throat> and again, we got we got an, almost enough for two more UAVs. He's checking that building real quick to see if he can get another 900 bucks. Unfortunately, we cannot. I have to take this car and go to better position like this one. Yep. And he, as you can see right there, he wants to, he, he just said he's got to take the car and go to that position. And as you can I see right it. there, some other enemy has already We're done that. Reading the map, this looks like a very good spot to go to. This is going to be a very good building. The chance of the next circle going to that and favoring it is pretty good. And if you guys are trying to play passive, you need to start reading situations like this. Anything on the outskirts of a circle this big is most likely going to be out of zone when the next one hits. So a lot of times I'll see people be like, well, I want to go military base because it's the biggest place there is. And that's bad because what you're going to end up doing is going to military base, camping until the next circle reveals itself or fighting, whatever. Um, and then as you need to navigate across, notice how there's no vehicles here. You're going to have to walk out in the open up a hill and there's going to be a lot of players sitting on top of the hills and in the trees and things like that. And you're just going to end up getting killed. So if you guys want to plant your feet and sit somewhere and look at positioning, I would go to an area like this like this or even this one the only reason i would save this one um is because of the buy station but talking about strategy and positioning this is kind of a nightmare because you're kind of in a kill box got a lot of high ground around you and i just and it makes me feel a little uncomfortable i know it's all right went ahead and rewinded a little bit um i messed up he started walking us through his thought process so i'm gonna shut my mouth so y'all can hear him people on the hill and there's people below me too so I am 
don't really want to fight. Oh fuck, there's a guy watching me. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTP for resupply. And that just comes with practicing reaction time. He saw him, he jumped out, he read the situation really fast, and he was able to capitalize on it. Now we do have a knock. We need to watch for his teammate getting the res off. We do also have dead silence, so it wouldn't be a bad push. He understands that he had to pop his plates, and when he popped his plates, that allowed the enemy team enough time to get the res off. So instead of going in there pushing because he's got the knock, he's gonna wait for the enemies to make another mistake and then hopefully capitalize off of that. Or he's gonna bail from the fight altogether, which isn't a bad position. Holding that hill would have been bad because we know that there's a duo team on top of police station or in police station uh, from the UAV we had launched a few moments ago. So we're gonna go ahead and pass up all of this and get ourselves to a better position. We notice there's a bounty right here and there's a player sitting here on top of it. So we have to unfortunately bail it from that one. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about, guys. But it's definitely not all about sitting in, a, in an attic waiting to die. I hate, to, I hate to spoil this for you guys, but if y'all want to get better and you want to win more, you're going to have to start getting some kills. You don't have to drop 20. But you're going to have to start fighting. Stop hiding. It's going to be okay. I mean... <sighs> Maybe this is a bot lobby. <laughs> What are we watching anymore, man? What is this game turned into? We got another player pushed out in the open. This is a terrible push for him I'm trying to go for that vehicle. I did not like that at all. He should have noticed we were here, judging by the audio and the sounds of a shooting. He should not have tried to make that. Oh, I don't know why you're mad. I think he's mad. I don't know. You need to go somewhere else, bro. You got all these ridges and rocks you could have played. There's no reason to go for the car. Notice again with the circle size, that compound that we were talking about earlier is still Enemy safe, and so is police head. station. Even though I recommended not going to police station, because look at this angle. This is exactly why I said I don't really feel comfortable with police station. I can understand it, and I can respect it. This is why it makes me uncomfortable, because if you're on the rooftop trying to shoot at people below you, you're going to get shot from the, from the hill around you like this, right? Um, same thing with the windows. If you're in the window peeking and you're shooting, Right here, if you're in this window and you're shooting at an enemy, you're vulnerable to us, right? So any compound that's not on the high ground in a circle like this kind of makes me scared. Threat. Moved a little too much, SA. No, his clan tag was actually SA. That's, I get it now, hey. I hope there's no one rotating late. Get another UAV in the air. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Bro, there's six blips. And again, I want to point out, everyone always tells me, Savage, people use ghosts. Stop recommending UAVs. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, really? Everyone uses ghosts. So y'all are just going to not buy UAVs at the end of the game. Because right now, no one's using it. Look at this. We got one, two, three. We got four next to us. One across. Oh, man. If only we didn't have a UAV up, we wouldn't even know he was there. No, I do think there are pe ghosted people below us because, again, when we had the UAV up way back when, we did see it. There were two people sitting in this building camping like a bunch of bitches. Here we are trying to read the situation almost perfectly, spamming grenades in it. Oh, God. We're going to play more. Ooh, doesn't matter. We get the kill. And just like that, again, guys, we had two kills. When we went to the gulag with what was it 117 left it was still early game but we had two kills when we died we ended up coming back and now we have 28. the point of saying that is guys don't just give up and throw in the towel and kind of go on autopilot because you feel like you have a bad game there's always room for redemption unless you have two kills with 20 left and you die then you might you might be in for a, a long game now we have a, we have an enemy on the low ground right here notice how the enemies camp in this building aren't even looking our way why because they're sitting in the top floor right they don't want to move they're just they're, they're scared shitless they're panicking and they need to rotate soon so the team that's in this building and this guy right here they need to figure it out fast you need to start forcing fights when you're in a bad position like this because the longer they sit in that rooftop the greater the risk the circle is going to force them out and they're not going to even have a chance to even shoot back at us. They're just going to have to run to safety. So what that team should do is try to fight us. Get out of the building, get on the rooftop, do something and try to outplay the situation because they put themselves in a bad spot. He is bingo fuel. 
again going back to the police station compound uh, conversation of why i didn't like this area look how the, the circle <laughs> rotated the north hand side and now all of us are in a very bad position look see didn't even shoot because run from the gas that's exactly Ooh. what i'm talking about oh shit! how do we ever know it's gonna happen oh my god and i'm not trying to be a dick i'm just you know constructive criticism right people do not learn until they're put on blast now him, you got to give it to him. He's been trying to rotate the squad mate, gets that building, played that wall. So I'm not going to go in on him. And now looking at the circle, that hill right there to the north, that's that's the position you want to be in. That's where I would be if I was the enemy. So that's where I kind of be looking at. I wouldn't be tunneled on it, but I'd keep, I'd keep my eyes looking there. Maybe that shed. I'm a little scared about that hill. Now, that's pretty ballsy playing the top of the roof. We're, we're vulnerable 360 degrees. And if the enemy who is, you know, at the end of the game, I would assume they're probably good. Um, if the enemy is good with a sniper, we're very vulnerable to get headshotted. There he oh. is using the crate as cover to make his way to the high ground. I can respect it. Unfortunately, oh no, shot. I thought he was gonna die. So now he's got good position. Now he is in the, the crim to the crim position, but he needs to plate if he has plates. If he doesn't, he's screwed. So Mr. F has his work cut out for him. All the enemy needs to do is play this circle wait for us to get caught out and push and then shoot down on us to get the kill but there he is trying to peep, peep up real quick i hope you didn't see me it didn't look like he saw you now it does and doesn't no! matter Yo. Whoa. <laughs> GG. Yes. wolfpack thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on mr f as always thank you for submitting this for us to break down here on the channel really appreciate it brother but y'all have a good one and good luck in Warzone.